it's Jana and welcome to Pinch of Luck. Today we are going to make hi-hat ice cream cone cupcakes. I am very excited to give this a try. I have seen the hi-hat icing technique around here and there and I think it looks like a top of an ice cream cone so why not put it in the ice cream cone cupcake. All of the ingredients and tools we will be using will be down in the description below. So let's get lucky. I've already pre-made my cake. I used a French vanilla cake just cause, I don't know, ice cream, vanilla, it makes sense. You can go ahead and do it like this or make your own recipe. We just wanna take our cake and crumble it. Just cut it into a few pieces and just start crumbling. I just have a little tub of icing here. We're going to use about three fourths of this to mix in our cake. I also have some mini chocolate chips. I thought this would be really cute and yummy inside since the cake is vanilla and we add a little chocolate chip. Should it just be vanilla chocolate chip ice cream? Cake. Just mix it all up. So I have my little ice cream cones here. I got this little rack on Amazon, so that's pretty cool. So I'll put a link down below for that. What better way to fill up an ice cream cone than with an ice cream scoop? So let's just go ahead and start filling these babies up. You wanna make sure you squish down your cake all the way to fill it all the way up and then you will put your bowl on top. How cute! Looking super cute! So let's throw these in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. While those are in the freezer, let's go ahead and start making our marshmallowy icing. And finally, I get to use my big mixer. Check it out! I put all these wonderful, beautiful things on it. It looks so cute. I love it. So I'll put a link down below where I got all these little vinyl stickers. So to make your icing, you just need to get three large egg whites, one and three fourths cup sugar, fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, one teaspoon vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of almond extract. We're gonna beat this on high until it is nice and foamy. Now we're gonna bring our water to a boil so we can make a little double boiler here. Okay, so it is now boiling, so we are going to actually turn it down to a little simmer. Just keep on whisking until all your sugar is dissolved. Put it back on your mixer and start her up again. Get her nice and fluffy. Now we wanna take our icing and throw it in a big icing bag. Let's go get our ice cream cupcakes. So you're gonna take your icing and you are just going to swirly, whirly, whirly all the way up. Now it is called a hi-hat, so make them nice and high. Oh my gosh, I love them so far. This is gonna be so awesome. We're gonna throw these in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes again. And in the meantime, we'll melt our chocolate so we can dip, dip, dip them when we get back. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited to dip these. Our chocolate is all melted. It looks beautiful. So when I made my chocolate here, I just dumped in my chocolate chips and three tablespoons of oil just to thin it out a little bit. So we are just going to put the chocolate into a little glass so we have a little bit more dipping room. And I also have all of my sprinkles here. I just have a rainbow mix of some jammies and the little ball guys. And I have just a little bit of finely chopped walnuts. I figured anything that would be good on an actual ice cream cone would be good on here, right? And I also have some peanut M&Ms. Now, I have a little trickery here. I'm going to use the red ones as the top of the cherry. I thought it'd be cute. So let's try to dip it. So you're gonna take your ice cream cone and put it straight down, dip it right in. Let the excess drip off, and you got an ice cream cone. So if you wanna put any decorations on it, do it while it's still wet. Keep dipping, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look how cute they are. They look like little ice cream cones. E -e 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 -e. So now all we have to do is just throw them back in the freezer for a little bit, get that chocolate all hardened up, and then they are ready to munch, munch, munch on. I think we got lucky. If you make this, send me a picture. I'll put it on the website. If there's anything you want to see, just let me know. I'm always looking for fun new ideas. And as always, if you loved it, like it, subscribe to it, and share it. Thanks, guys. Mwah. All right, guys, I can't resist. We need to cut these things open and see what they look like. Here comes Quinny. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> they look so good. Are they awesome? I think I'll try this one. Like, cause I like. You want this one? Cause I like tiny sprinkles. With the tiny sprinkles? And it's not at what melted. Okay, hang on. We're gonna cut it right in half. <gasps> cause we're gonna see how awesome it is inside. I, I think there's like cookie inside or something. What is it? I think there's like a cookie inside. 
Oh, a cookie? Mm. I don't know. All right, let's cut this in half. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's like butter. Oh, you're cutting the cone? Yeah. What? <gasps> What's in there? I know it. Ah, uh, that's cool. Is it okay? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, where's Emma? Can you tell everybody where Emma's at? Hawaii camp. Oh yeah, summer camp, yay! She has summer camp all week. It's gonna be so fun. She was so excited. Mine's next week. Uh -huh. Oh man.